Okay, this is your digital interactive notebook for fall 2022, 4170.05. This is Professor Tohio. Greetings, everyone. On slide one, make sure to type your first and last name here. And then on slide two, you're going to create a table of contents. One way you can do that is by inserting a text box and filling it with white so that it covers what's on that um, on the actual slide. Um, the first slide is slide three, and the title of slide three is Multiplication and Try It. I would tab until I get to title of assignment. And then slide four, let's go to slide four to see what that title is is analyzing a situation ed puzzle you would type that title for slide four and um and then you'd also have to number these if you notice on the upper left hand corner and upper right hand corner you have page numbers in textbooks even numbers are on the left and odd numbers are on the right so we're going to continue with that standard for this document Slide five is partitioning, and that is page four on the left and five on the right. Again, even numbers are on the left and odd numbers are on the right. Slide six is addition strategies, page six and seven. Slide seven, um, six and seven. Uh, slide seven is page eight and nine, subtraction strategies. And you would just continue adding that to your table of contents here. Okay, let's continue with slide 10. This is what slide 10 looks like. I'm sorry, slide eight. This is what slide eight looks like. This is slide nine. Again, you would click here to add the page number from the previous slide, and then you can continue sequentially with the page number on the right side. Um, and then on page 10, this is your lesson plan one. You would upload images of lesson plan one. If you, if, um, and I believe Google Slides only allows you to insert um, PDFs or PNGs, I'm sorry, PNG files. So what I do is I go into my lesson plan here and I make sure that it is in the viewing. I make sure that I can view it, the whole page. And I take a screenshot or an image of, um, of a part that I want. So I'll take that one, edit, copy, go back into my digital interactive notebook, um, right click, and I'll paste. And there's my actual document there. So I'm going to um, position it, make sure it fits. I'm going to shrink it proportionally so that it looks like I'm adding it to my notebook here. I'm going to make sure that you can see lesson plan title and click the page number on the left and you continue that process um, with the next page in the Google document. So here's my during phase. I'm going to hit my click my snip tool. I'm going to click new um, and highlight what I want um, and copy it. If you want to know how to create a snip tool you know, on a PC, uh, you can go into YouTube and find a tutorial on that. Um, so I'm giving you a little quick tutorial. And then don't forget to put the page number here. And then on slide 11, um, this is the activity we did together on um, week 10 for adding and subtracting fractions. Here's the image of what we did. Um, and let me just remind you which one that is. And you can definitely um, pause here and just copy it if you can't find it. But we did it with the uh, land with Bach and uh, Fisk and and I think Wong, but we partitioned the land like that. Um, and then we answered some questions, went over some strategies on how to add and add fractions and estimate. Um, you would you can use this side as a third lesson plan one page. Mine is incomplete. Yours would have more narratives in there, so you may have a three-page document. Um, you continue the process with lesson. You continue the process with lesson plan two, 
add the image of the first page, add the image of the second page. Don't forget to click the page numbers on the left and the right. And then for slide 13, again, here's a third page for your lesson plan. Um, you, if you need more pages and you need to go past slide 13, just click the new slide icon here in the upper left corner and it'll give you an, a duplicate of slide 13, which is perfect. You just copy and paste whatever uh, the amount of pages you need and then you would end with the activity we did a couple of weeks ago on adding and subtracting mixed numbers with the spices, the Betty's cake spices, spices Parisian, and gram masala. We kind of estimated and wrote number sentences. You would do the same thing. Um, you would post that image there. Now, to create your PDF file to post it into Canvas, you hit File, Download, PDF, and it'll generate when it's ready rendering, it'll um, allow you to open it. So just verify that it's finished, know its location, and then you go into Canvas and you um, submit a PDF of this digital interactive notebook. If you need more tutorials or more information on how to do that, you can go on YouTube for an in-depth tutorial on how to convert Google Slides into a PDF and um, submit it into Canvas. All right, good luck everyone. Have a wonderful winter break. Good luck to everyone.